All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Deep View channel. Uh, today, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the roadmap that we have for Q2 of this year, 2024. A lot of cool stuff is coming, uh, and we've got a lot planned even further down the pipeline in Q3 and Q4, uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's first focus on Q2 um, and talk about all the cool stuff that we have in the works, and some of this we've actually already launched uh, just in this past week or two. Uh, first, I do want to kind of bring it back to um, our goal with DeepView and um, you know our overall mission. And really, we want to bring uh, to life a lot of the features that we've dreamed of, uh, features that we've thought of you know for quite some time, uh, but haven't been implemented in other platforms or haven't you know been implemented in the best way possible. Uh, that would really you know save us time personally, since we are traders ourselves. We use a platform as our daily driver every single day uh, to chart, to chart, screen all of that. Um, and we really want to bring these features to life to help save us time, but also save all our users time in finding the top ideas, analyze the market more effectively and trade more effectively at the end of the day. So that's our kind of overall goal. Um, and one of the things that we're always focused on is trying to just iterate quickly, listen to feedback, uh, bring features to life, see what works, see what doesn't, uh, see what we need to change, tweak, whatever, based on, um, you know, what users are saying. Um, and you know that process of innovation and bringing a lot of features uh, to market quickly uh, helps us as a platform just kind of um, advance towards our ultimate goal of building an all-in-one platform that can suit your all your needs. Uh, so as we you know go through a bunch of these ideas, um, let me know any feedback you have, what you would really love, uh, what ideas does you know going over some of these give you uh, that could really make DFU you know even that much better. We really love to hear your feedback down below. Um, also, if you aren't a part of DeepView just yet, uh, this is a great time to go ahead and sign up because we're actually running a Memorial Day sale. You can try two months for $39, really great value, see what this platform is all about. We've had a lot of people join in the past, you know, few weeks even, um, who have really loved it, said it saves them time, uh, helps them trade more effectively. So definitely give it a shot if you haven't. And you can also up upgrade to an annual plan um, and this is a really great deal. You essentially get three months free and basically get uh, the platform for a whole year. So some really great choices here, two months for $39 or uh, 441 for the entire year. And you just wanna visit dv.com. Uh, you can you know take a look at this page, take a look at some of our uh, reviews here, uh, also our highlighted features. We've got a lot here on the page uh, and that link will be down below in the description as well as popping up uh, right now. Uh, but with that said, let's get back to our Q2 roadmap and start over here on the left-hand side. Uh, we've got one of these that I'm really, really excited about. It's, it's been a dream of mine, really. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the Formula Builder. So this has actually been kind of in the works for quite some time. We've been changing our database and how we structure everything uh, to really bring us to life and save everything as time series uh, to bring, you know, to make this a possibility. And this will probably be more towards the end of Q2. But essentially, we want to uh, allow users to create their own custom data points, uh, screen based on those custom data points, and you know, basically, you know, whatever data point you dream up, uh, if it's a um, product of existing data that we have, uh, you'd be able to manipulate those different data points, calculate your own versions of them, um, you know, do all the the normal operations, uh, multiplication, max, min, all that stuff, and basically create your own data points that again you can add to your data columns or use as data points to screen by in the screener. So this would bring a lot of customizability and power to the DFU platform. And we know we have a lot of um, requests for people to be able to screen historically. Uh, so again, based on these cuffs and data points, that might be a little bit later, uh, but that's something we're thinking about as well. Uh, then we're just gonna have some more screener UX UI improvements based on customer feedback. You guys have been great on letting us know what you like, what you don't like, what could be improved, all that. So we'll be implementing that feedback. Um, more iPad comp compatibility. I know a lot of people like to use their iPads to screen. Definitely very convenient, so we'll be bringing that as well. Moving on, uh, breath metrics. Uh, th this is gonna be really cool. Uh, you know, Now that our database is optimized, we can start, you know, increasing a lot of the data feeds that we're incorporating into DeepView. So one of these is breath metrics, everything from McClellan oscillators, 
um, you know, sentiment, all, all that stuff. Uh, we'll be implementing the platform. So if there's a specific one that you would like, uh, definitely let us know right now in the comment section. Uh, we'd really want to, you know, prioritize the ones that you would really use on a day-to-day -day basis. So if there's a specific breath metric that you would want us to include, uh, let us know down below and we'll be sure to kind of make one, make it basically one of the first ones. Also goes for crypto. Uh, this is going to be really cool to be able to chart Bitcoin, all the different coins right there in DFU access, all the indicators, proprietary indicators that we have, use them on the crypto charts. This will be really awesome. Uh, and again, let us know the crypto charts that you'd like us to um, add first down below in the comment section. Uh, also, Forex uh, indexes, this is a big deal uh, via CFDs. Um, you know, this will allow you to just, again, uh, analyze the market, you know, that much more effectively. Moving on, we'll also be adding a lot more data points, especially in terms of fundamentals. And this goes from ROE, margins, um, just expanding our repertoire. Right now, we've got a lot of great tentacles. Uh, we do have fundamentals, but this will just be expanding that. Uh, and we've got hundreds and hundreds of data points for our screener. So this will just allow you to be that much more selective and narrow your focus that much more when it comes to building your custom screens. Uh, then uh, this is one I'm really looking forward to, and, and many of you are are as well. A lot of people have requested this, uh, as, as we say right here, highly requested by many users, uh, the ability to screen on your watch list. So say you have a larger universe of names that are kind of your go-to names, uh, you know, pre-selected and you've got a watch list of them. You'd be able to screen and select that watch list to, to use as your universe versus just our um, larger universe of all stocks in the DV database. So this would be really cool and save a lot of time during routines. Uh, then we'll be adding uh, some more dashboard apps. We actually already added the performance charts, uh, which allow you to uh, plot the performance of different uh, symbols in the platform really easily. Any data point in our platform you can use um, that's in that list. Uh, scatter plot will bring that functionality to an XY plot. Um, this I've already used is really cool, especially near the open. You can sort by percent change from open and then volume on the XY and see in real time kind of the strongest stocks moving on the highest volume, it will really stand out and help you identify those themes very early on and help you spot those breakouts in the highest potential stocks really early on. So that'll be really cool. Also, we've got the heat map coming, uh, calendars, news events, a lot of functionality bringing uh, is going to be added to the dashboard that will really help, you know, increase its usefulness um, above what it is already. Then in addition to being able to screen on your watch list, you'll be able to combine multiple watch lists together and screeners and kind of manipulate all that data so you don't have to you know, do it manually and, and you know, look at a lot of the same tickers over and over again. You'll be able to combine different sources together. Uh, so it just kind of, again, streamlines your routine that much more. Then in terms of organization, uh, we'll be adding sections to a watch list that allow you to split it into different um, you know, different areas that you can drag and drop uh, different names to. And that's another functionality, drag and drop between sections. And this again is just going to help you speed up your process, especially in the moment when you're executing, you know, go drag in a name from your daily focus list to uh, your portfolio list when you've made a trade and you've added it. Uh, so this will be really cool and just help speed up your process and make DFU that much more dynamic. Uh, so that's pretty much our goal for the Q2 roadmap. Uh, again, we've already brought to life some of these, and some of these have been, you know, done, been been worked on in the background for quite some time. Um, but it will really expand the capabilities of DeepView, and we're really excited uh, to bring all these different features to life. And um, we hope that you are too. Um, and so, what I want to ask you right now is, of the ones that I've gone over, uh, let me know down below in the comment section what you are most looking forward to. I uh, would really like to hear your opinion. And then if you have any other ideas that you'd like to add to our brainstorm list, uh, we'd love to hear that down below as well. So let me know kind of one or two, you know, ideas that you'd love to see that would save you a lot of time, uh, your best of your best ideas. Let me know down below in the comments section. So with that, uh, thanks so much for watching. This is just kind of a quick review of the Q2 roadmap. Uh, if you like this, we'll kind of do this for every quarter. And again, definitely take advantage of the Memorial Day sale. This is a really great deal. Uh, if you're not a part of DFU just yet, check out this trial. Uh, we've seen a lot, a lot of users start uh, just in the past few weeks taking this up. And then also we've got the annual plan option uh, that is a really great deal as well, packed full of value. And you can see from our roadmap that we'll just be adding more and more functionality. So this will actually be a better and better deal as the year goes on. So again, thanks so much for watching 
and we'll see you guys in future videos.